I got a request about a Raspberry Pi and Victor and Venus S how we can possibly connect a one wire temperature sensor to the Raspberry Pi and have the temperature readout in the VRM console. Hey and welcome back to Toby's Rescues with Toby. Here you can see the final product. That's how, how it will look like at the end. I want to show you what I did on Caviar though. There will be a update coming out soon as the developer mentioned and that means there might be some modifications, some um, improvements coming as well. We'll connect the hardware which is a one wire with a, a board and uh, we'll use the setup helper as well and it's pretty straightforward but we have to also do one modification with the putty when you connect and that means we need to adjust uh, one uh, little line and uh, I'll explain it later to you. Welcome back to Toby's Real Skills with Toby by the way. I hope you can see it, you can see the pins, that's very important. And you can see also what we need first. We need to connect, which is really great. You don't need to strip any wires, you just need to connect everything. And please look at this, how we connect it. We have the black for the ground, we have the red for the VCC, and we have the yellow for the data. And you just need to unscrew it with a very, very small screwdriver, flat hat. Untighten those screws, plug it in, tighten it back down. I'm not redoing this because that's so straightforward. And then I have this jumper cable here, which I decided on, hey, there's the yellow, there's a the red, which have the same color coding like on the other side. So that's what I did. Used yellow and red as well, yellow for data, red for VCC, and I used the orange to match to the black, which is crowned. And that's what we need, right? So we have connected this one. I hope you made a screenshot. Look at it. And the next one is, we need to connect those three jumper cables, which come for the board. Go over here. And now I'm pulling up. That is so cool. And there are so many pictures like this. There are so many pictures out there for the Raspberry Pi where they tell you exactly which pin is responsible for what. And here you can see it. We'll use pin one in this case, which is a 3.3 volt. So that means we'll use the red jumper cable. We'll connect it, and hopefully yours is empty, to the pin. And then what we need next, uh, we will use a ground. So, and here it gets tricky. I do have a fan and my fan uh, connects to here, pin uh, four with five volts and to the ground and pin six. So I have to use um, one, two, three, four, five. I have to use pin, they call it nine, it looks like. So I have to use pin nine, if that is accurate. At least here in this graph they call it 9. I hope that is correct. That's what I'm using. And for the crown I will use my orange cable, which is, as you remember here, on this little board, black to orange. That's the crown. Now I'm counting. It's number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I need to connect it here. Seems all right. And then we have the data. And the data, it is the uh, yellow wire. And then we need to use the data. And the data is, as much as I understood here at least, seems to be everything which is green. So in here it gets tricky. So you can see I don't have the relay board connected at the moment to this Raspberry Pi. Which means we have to pay attention because that's where it got tricky and also I got confused and I got problems. I cannot use the GPIO pin 26 as you remember in this video. That's one of the pins which he, which the relay boards uses, as well as the GPIO, I think it was 20 and 21 or something like that. Um, so the other side as well. Um, and those pins we cannot use because they are already utilized and used by the relay board. So keep that in mind because that's why we need to make the configuration change later and that's why there will be possibly a new version of this coming out. Um, I'm talking about version point five at the moment of the Venus OS temperature service. We need to use a different pin. So we'll use pin four because it's everything so close. So let's do that. And that means I'll use the yellow one pin. Sorry, it's called GPIO four, but it's also pin four um, for me on the side when I count from the 3.3 volt. So now we have connected everything. And that's basically the hardware, what we need to do. So we could assemble it back together. I'm not doing that. I just want to start it up and I want to see what's going on. And then I'll show you 
everything else. So the two requirements, and you can see already, I did already um, proceed a little bit. When you use the setup helper and you have installed the Raspberry Pi processor temperature package installed, or the Raspberry Pi GPIO uh, installer, I think it's called, package. So this only applies to you when you have installed um, the setup helper. So that means we go into the setup helper, the package manager, open active packages, look at what we have. We have, of course, setup helper, cool. Then we see, oh yeah, there's a Raspberry Pi temperature, but I can see um, there's nothing installed. There's no installed version because I did uninstall it already and reboot it. And I can see the Raspberry Pi GPIO setup is also not installed here anymore because I don't have the board connected to it. If you have it connected and you have those extra pins, those pass-through pins, basically, you should be able to use it as well. I have not tested it yet um, because I was working on this one, but um, that should be, in theory, pretty straightforward because that's what a pass-through is, right? So the requirement, no temperature sensor, and for me at the moment also no GPIO, GPIO setup installed means we need to go back, we need to go in a, to inactive packages, and what we're doing, we do select the new package. And that leads me to link in the description to below for this package, the Venus OS temperature service. Um, thanks to Ricard RS for um, providing this. And also thanks for the quick answers and feedback I got from you. This package, you don't have to download, but you have to scroll down a little bit and then you see there are some install instructions with screenshots, which is amazing. You can open it and you can just follow those steps. So what does that mean actually? So I need to um, continue with double click new and now we need to use the package and we can type it in here and I think you have to type it in. You cannot copy and paste it as much as I saw. So make sure, make sure you type it correctly without any issues because otherwise it will not work and find the package. Venus is temperature service. Yes. Then we have the user, which is over here. Then package branch latest. Okay, then we have to click proceed. Whoop. That's what happens. We'll go one higher to the active packages then we should see it's on the bottom nice when we typed everything correct it should be able to find its latest version on the github and there it is nice double click open it so you can see it so what i want to do is download proceed and then when it's downloaded click install Hit proceed. And now we want to do the reboot. Ah, there it is. <gasps> Partially. Why is that? So it worked. Partially. What we see here, um, and therefore we have to refer to the package here on the right side, um, enable features in the setup. And the Raspberry Pi CPU temperature is enabled, as you can see here. But the one-wire support temperature is, a, is located on data port 26. And now it gets tricky. When you have the GPIO installed or have pre-configured anything like that, it want to use the 26 pin as well, which it cannot do because that's where it gets some trouble. So that means for me, I will I will open my putty. I'll connect to my Raspberry Pi. Perfect. And now we have to type in nano to change a file. We have to navigate to this path. And there, when we scroll all the way down, there we have the change, the comment change one wire temperature sensor on pin 26, and below is the actual pin located to 26. And we have to change the DT overlay equals w1-gpio, gpio pin equals, and then instead of 26, 
going to type in 4 because that's where we plugged it in. If you're using a different data port, please put the number in here. Control X, then Y for saving, enter. I'll type in reboot. You can also navigate in the VRM console to reboot. All right, let's see if we, yep. Oh, look at that. One way attempt sensor, 27 degree, which is this one. And then we have the Raspberry Pi processor with 55. And let me just try to heat up, oh, and Celsius, sorry. <laughs> yep, one more degree. Oh, and 30. Perfect. And that's all there's to to configure it to connect the hardware. So let me go back to the settings. Let me see if I can install the active packages. And I want to go to the Raspberry Pi GPO setup. I don't know why I uninstalled it, but I'll just install it and see. Because it should not be uninstalled. I'm, when I tested, I guess I just uninstalled it uh, when I was going back and forth with the developer just uh, to see what's the problem with this. And he made me aware of, hey, you cannot use it with the temperature sensor package, which is already installed from the setup helper. And also might be problems, might, be, might have problems with the GPO um, setup here as well. And as you remember, this video with the GPO um, setup we did, we also entered a custom file and we did configure um, three different pins which we wanted to use for the relay board basically. And this should now work in theory without any problems. Let's see if it is true or not. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, that's good, I guess. It still looks like the temperature's here. Uh, do we have, well, I, no, there are my relays, yeah. I haven't connected the board. That will be one of the next videos because I have need to connect it, but I'm happy this works. I'm happy to see when I click here on temperature and I can use this temperature with, and this package includes the processor temperature as well as this one wire if I want to. And then it, you can connect additionally, I don't know how many Bluetooth um, Ruby whoop, um, temperature sensors as well. If you like this stuff, please um, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, it would help me a lot, it helps the channel a lot, and I hope to see you next time. Cheers!